Hello, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to these videos. Welcome back to my life and my little cozy room. Today we're getting cozy. We're just gonna be chilling on the floor. I'm feeling the therapy vibes today. I did not feel like doing a music themed video because I was going pretty solid. I was doing it the last two weeks and I was like, you know what? I could take a little bit of a break and just kind of like talk to you guys person to person. You know? So that's what we're doing. That's what we're doing today. So about two months ago, I made a video highlighting my goals for 2022. And listen, we've we've accomplished every single one that I had. Every single one. Even the ones that I didn't list on the list, like the stuff that's on my private list, we knocked it out. You know, they're gone. They're done. Everything is done thanks to all of you guys. So one, I just want to say thank you for that. That is insane. I mean, I wasn't really even expecting to reach even half of them, but to have all of them crossed off my list three months into the year is insane. So thank you all so much for that. I really do appreciate that. I'm really proud to have people around me that support me in that way. And, and uh, I'm just excited about whatever the future holds. So... Thank you guys so much. I really do appreciate it. But you know what that means? That means that I have to come up with new goals for myself for this year. So first things first, I just want to go through those goals. Goal number one, which <laughs> I don't know, but goal number one, okay, we're going to try to hit 500,000 on TikTok. By the end of the year, 500,000, we can do it, right? Probably. Pro maybe not. I don't know. Honestly, did not think we would hit 100,000, if I'm being completely honest. So the fact that we even hit what the, the uh, we might hit it. I don't know. Prop will. Okay. I did this last time. <laughs> I'm like super unsure if we're going to be able to hit it. And then we do. So I'm just going to say we're going to hit 500,000 on TikTok this year. We're going to do it. All right. So that's goal number one. Goal number two. I want to hit 10,000 followers on Spotify. That seems a bit high, but I think we could do it. We're about 4,000 followers away. If you guys would help me out with that, share my music with your friends or whatever, if you like it, would really appreciate that. I think we could, I, that's one, that one I think is pretty attainable. Fingers crossed. Let's hope we get that one. The next one is 100,000 monthly listeners on Spotify. And then the last goal that has to do directly with these videos, okay? This one's hard because I don't know if we could do it, but... The goal is 10,000 subscribers on this YouTube channel. That being said, if you guys have anything you want me want to see me do on this channel, if you guys like these little talk videos, if you like the music type of videos, if you don't like any of the videos, I mean, I'm still going to make videos, but just give me more ideas. But yeah, so those are those are some of my goals for this year. We'll see if we hit them. I would really love to hit them. Anyways, so today, what I want to talk about is spreading yourself thin. And this kind of has to do with a topic that I have talked about in the last like three, four weeks here. I don't remember when I talked about it, but I talked about burnout and the fact that like, if you're just go, go, go all the time, you're not going to be able to keep doing things, you know, because eventually you're going to be like, oh crap, like I have no energy left. I can't do anything. Lately, I feel as though I have been spreading myself. I almost said breading myself. I've been breading myself paper thin. I haven't had enough breading. <laughs> no, I've been spreading myself paper thin. My arms are being exposed a little too much and I'm uncomfortable. I've been spreading myself paper thin, you know, overbooking myself in terms of the amount of things that I do, the amount of people that I see, the amount of calls that I take, the amount of work that I'm going to. I'm getting to a point where I'm starting to die. I am literally dying. Um, not literally, metaphorically. Is that right? I don't even think that's right. Somehow, I just feel like I'm dying. Let me explain. I don't know how to bring this up lightly. I'm not going to bring it up lightly because we're honest here, right? We're going to be completely honest. Because of the fact that I've been spreading myself paper thin, I feel like I'm usually not doing the best most of the time. Like, I feel like most people are usually doing probably better than I'm doing most of the time, right? But I feel like it's tolerable. Like most days I'll wake up and I'm like, I, I, can't, I can't get out of bed. I don't want to. There's no reason. I don't feel like it. And I'm just going to lay here. And it's not because I'm lazy. It's because I'm sad. <laughs> Lately, because I've been spreading myself paper thin, I feel as though there is always one day of the week where I absolutely just take a emotional nosedive into the ground and I bury my head deep within the, the, uh, 
Earth's crust, if you will. We don't want days like that. We don't want days like that. Who wants who wants a day like that? Not me. I, do you? I mean, I don't. I can't see any scenario where anybody would want a day like that. And it's you know why that is though. It's because when you spread yourself thin, you do not give yourself enough time to process everything that's happening. And so all of a sudden, one day of that week, you're processing literally everything that happens. Or at least that's in my case how I feel. You're literally one day of the week, you're processing everything that just freaking happens and it's overwhelming. And so all of a sudden you just fall and you're like thinking about all of the things that happened, whether it's good or bad. And you're just like, dude, that's it. You just say, dude, <laughs> I mean, in my case, in my case, that's what happens. I'm just like, dude. And then I stare at the ceiling, uh, for a couple hours. My arms are being exposed for what they are. I'm so sorry. There's going to come a point where I've spread myself so thin that I've literally given myself no time for any specific thing. I've just given myself time for everything and spending a little bit of time on everything you're going to get everything done significantly slower if you're spending a little bit of time on everything as opposed to if you're spending a lot of time on one thing i have been on both ends of the spectrum on this channel i've talked about developing hobbies and that kind of a thing and it is good to like spread yourself out and like try a bunch of things and just see what happens see what works at the same time you gotta balance it anyways Okay, this conversation has gone much longer than I intended it to go. It's like 10 o'clock on a Thursday, and I'm going to St. Louis tomorrow, and I have procrastinated up until this point to do this video. You know why? Because I've spread myself thin. So don't spread yourself thin because you're going to end up doing a video at 10 o'clock on a Thursday before you drive to St. Louis at 6 a.m. the next day. Okay? That's the moral of the story. Just don't do it. Don't spread yourself thin. All right, folks? This was a good talk. I appreciate you guys coming. If you guys haven't checked out my music yet, I would appreciate if you did. I'll put a link below and you can go check that out. Other than that, I will see you guys next week. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you got something out of it. And my arms are more exposed again okay thank you so much for watching bye just got the stick shit pushed up